Oh boy, oh boy. I know I uh, gave you a uh, EOM or um, an EOD rather, an end of day uh, meeting. But um, here's a morning uh, look. I did a little bit of work. So um, the first thing we're going to look at is uh, here on the daily. If we go back to October 10th, and then put a Fibonacci to the high on the 22nd, we'll see we're right at the 511 mark. 511 would be uh, the 50%. And we kind of bounced off that. And we're looking at a bounce right now. But I'm not that comfortable with this bounce because if you take a peak E at, um, at 1018, we've got a gap at uh, 448646. And... Um, if you understand the Fibonacci, we use the 50% retracement because we have, um, you, you know, the human psyche involved. And 50% is a big mark. It's also halfway between all the people who profited on the way up and all the people who are losing money on the way down. So it's a, it's, it, it's, um, a vital point and an interesting um, point in, uh, in the market action. Um, so that's why we use the 50%. And when I trade, um, I usually use the 50% as my primary target because the probability would dictate that the market's going to return from the 50%. But it's not uncommon to see the 55%, which is a natural retrace, or a 61%. Rarely do you see it go beyond the 61%, but, um, the probabilities are there that it can go beyond the 61%. So now we have the 55% with a gap. And when I get two indicators or two targets that uh, coincide, that's usually the target. So right now um, I'm doing the early morning thing. It's probably about 4.30. Uh, yeah, it's about a quarter to five right now. And we're up about 35 points. I think we're going to float down. I don't think we're going to open up about 35 points. I think that we'll probably open up flat. Tag that uh, 44, uh, that uh, 4488, and then hopefully close up again and maybe make that hammer. It's a good place to make the hammer. The other um, problem is, again, um, it's not impossible to hit that, uh, that 4550. Six, which is the 61%, but then we have another gap ooh, at 4439. Um, and then yet again, another at 4365. So, I mean, we could pull this market back to retrace everything we did in October. Not impossible. Um, I'm thinking maybe a bounce, um, a roll around, and then a retrace to a lower low, and then a takeoff. Um, the momentum right now on the daily is negative, and I don't see any roll around on the uh, negative uh, momentum. So, but if we do get a bounce today, which I have a, a, an argument for, um, I don't know where I put that. Oh, there it is. We could get a, um, a retrace of the retrace, and this moves. So let's get rid of that. And basically, um, we have um, this move down, and a retrace of the retrace would put us back at the um, uh, force 4627. Now, I could see that happening. We get a little tag, hit that 4627, and then come back down and close out that gap. So I think if that happens, I don't think we're going to see the Christmas rally until the very end of, um, uh, of, of the, uh, month. If it plays out that way, um, we may get an earlier Christmas rally. If we, um, if we make a hammer and then turn around and take off right here, but, um, I don't think, I don't think that's the case. So not make a hammer. If we go down and, and close all the gaps, I think from closing all the gaps, we could then, make a, a Christmas rally. So it could get real, real bloody again. Um, we have some Fed speaking and we have um, um, jobs report. And then tomorrow we have non-farm payroll. And really, I thought this was going to be a dead week. It's a matter of fact, I gave myself up 
so that um, to take advantage of the dead week this week. And um, oh, there is egg on my face. Um, so okay, something else um, to look at. Um, here, just on the 30, right? Here's a low, here's a low in the momentum. Here's a low, here's a low in the momentum. Here's a low, here's a low in the momentum. Momentum really kind of bottoming out. This one's a little higher um, and this one's a little lower, but ultimately I'd say that the momentum is, is fading. Um, and we, I would call this a divergence. Look at that huge move down, barely a move down on the, uh, on the momentum you know, barely a, a bit lower. So, um, and then you can see um, on these momentum, we're putting in all these tops. Why did you not work for me? We're putting in all these tops. So we could argue the same thing about the bottoms. Oh, it looks like, a, that's interesting. It looks like a, it put it in down there. So you could argue the same thing about these bottoms, you, you, you know, but yet we're not consolidating. So the momentum is consolidating but we're not consolidating here. And that's just the 30. That's not a very long view out. But um, I, I believe we could see the same thing. Um, no, the, the 120 is still um, pushing down aggressively. Oh, Dave, what did I do here? Oh, my. Um, but the 60... Um, and here's the 60. How did I lose? Okay, so anyway, here's the 60. And the 60 um, is somewhat uh, uh, um, consolidated. So, <clears throat> I mean, those are two glimmers of hope that the market could start turning around right here. But the... Um, Wow, I can't uh, figure out how to minimize this now. All right, so we're just gonna have to go like this and make it look strange. So um, the market, uh, right now looks like it's gonna open up about 30 points. So we're opening up probably around here. Could be an inside bar, could be setting up a bear flag. You, you know, um, really hard to tell. I mean, yeah, I'm, I even put these trend lines in. I was watching these trend lines. And this this lower trend line is, is right off of these two right here. This higher trend line is off of um, these two right here, you, you know, sticking to this trend. And um, here was the breakdown yesterday. And, and um, really, you could have taken a short right here and challenged that low. But uh, boom, that was a breakdown. Now it's testing this lower trend line which I think it's going to stay more in line. It, it, it could very well um, bounce off of that. So again, we talk about uh, 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 multiple indicators um, connecting at the same point, and that would be one. So we hit a trend line here. We hit the 50% uh, retrace um, on the uh, daily, um, which I don't understand why my Fibonacci's keep moving around like that. But uh, here we hit the 50% uh, retrace on the daily. And we're hitting this trend line. Good chance that it's going to bounce off. Good chance that's going to hold. We're right above, above the 500. That 500 is a major psychological uh, uh, mark that um, could could um, pose as a strong support, bounce off. A lot of things here saying we should bounce off here. But after a couple of days of um, a pummeling like this, uh, where we get these retraces and then we sell off and you retrace and sell off, um, you, you lose a lot of uh, investor confidence. So a lot of people are backing away and they're going to want to see confirmation that it's moving. I spoke to a couple of traders yesterday and uh, they were just talking um, about how in the morning they thought they missed it. You, you know, they saw that recovery and they're like, oh, I missed it. I don't have an opportunity to buy what I wanted to buy and everything like that. And then all of a sudden the market came down again and they were kind of happy because um, they're looking forward to buying today. So I hope there's some buying. I hope there's some optimism. Um, I know I'm a little shaken. I think I'm going to be more defensive than offensive. Um, so anyway, that's that's what's going on. Um, I'm having a hard time with the uh, data feed. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be streaming today. I mean, I can't even get into uh, my accounts and most of my software. So I'm trying to work that out too. So anyway, um, 
Good luck today. Stay calm. Stay cool. Oh, um, if you know the psycho trader, he's uh, tantamount to about blowing himself up. Yesterday, um, on the rebound, we actually talked, went through his portfolio. I showed him the things he should close, mitigate the damage. I mean, a couple of things. He was taking a couple of hundred dollars loss here and here, here and there, here and there. And he decided he was riding it out. I don't understand the line of thinking. That. No matter how I spoke to him, I was like, yo, you're risking um, your business to make a few hundred dollars or to avert a few hundred dollar loss. Just close these positions, maintain your capital and buy on a dip and you'll get to do very well. No, nope, no, nope, didn't listen. He was going to make the nickels and dimes. So um, so anyway, the market turned around at the close. And, uh, you know, obviously a move like this caught everybody by surprise. And uh, that's it. He's in a pinch right now. Maybe he'll get lucky today. But uh, look, luck and hope are no way to trade. Um, you have to trade smart, stick to your rules, um, be risk adverse. And, uh, you know, you got to stay calm and cool, make good decisions, be at peace. And good luck out there today.